Hey guys, this is Harjit here. I hope you are enjoying our Spark streaming series. If you have any comments and suggestions, please post it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to help you. And I'll be very happy to consider those in my next videos. Okay, let us start with uh, uh, today's topic. Today's topic is uh, what is streaming? We want to understand why we need streaming. We'll also go through some of the use case of the streaming. Let us start. Let's first understand how streaming is different from traditional batch applications. So uh, in enterprise setup, most of uh, folks work on batch processing. Uh, you know, batch processing is all about your data uh, that is coming in. It comes to your system, to your application at a regular interval of time. So you may be getting your input data each day. You may be getting your input data each hour, or you may be getting your input data every week or every month. So there is a periodicity attached to your job. Uh, your job runs uh, after getting data at a regular interval of time. In stream, your data is always arriving. So you're always getting some or other event as uh, some or another event or input to process your data. So if I try to define streaming, streaming is continuous flow of events. So Let's take an example. Uh, imagine your application is receiving tweets as input from Twitter. So each tweet is an event. So now flow of events is a stream. That's what we defined it earlier. Flow of tweets is a stream for your application. So you're getting stream of tweets as an input in your application. Let's take another example. Suppose Uber is collecting location of all the taxis that it has in the field. So all those taxis are sending GPS location to Uber systems. So now uh, you can think GPS location of taxis as stream of events. So each taxi at like say one taxi sends a GPS event at 8 o'clock, then 8.5 then 8, 10. Uh, so these are three events. So you are getting a stream of events from taxis. Uh, then, you know, you have a, uh, let's take another example. You have a web application, which is generating huge amount of logs. So uh, those logs are being generated as different users access your application. So logs of that application are coming to you as a stream. So these three were basic examples of a streaming application. Now let us understand use cases that what are the kind of problems that are solved with streaming. Okay, so uh, first example I have here is that, uh, you know, suppose you are working at Amazon and, uh, you know, then uh, there are a lot of orders being, uh, being placed at Amazon. So Amazon wants you to create a system to find out uh, whether that order was fraud or that was a genuine order, so that they can accept the order or the can or cancel the order based on it, based on if it was fraud or it was genuine. So now you will receive as input a stream of orders. So since Amazon is a very heavily used application, and user would like to know immediately whether his order has been accepted or not. So uh, it has to be a real time kind of a thing. It has to be very responsive kind of application. So you will get a stream of orders. Every order is an event. Uh, you will place in a system to process those stream of orders. And based on that, you will give output whether that order is accepted or not. So this was our first use case. Let us go to our second use case. Second use case is uh, a uh, log processing system. Suppose you have a lot of applications, they are generating logs and uh, you are got, getting those logs as an input stream. Your system goes through that log and finds out if there is error message within that log. If there is an error message, your system needs to raise an alert. Otherwise, it doesn't need to raise, a, raise an alert. So you, this kind of applications are also uh, streaming applications. Here, you as soon as there is a error in your application, you want to alert your user. So these are also real-time kind of a system. 
real time responsive kind of a system okay now third uh, use case that i have is that uh, uh, taxi sharing platform so here customers are raising request to hire a taxi and uh, you know you are getting those requests as a stream you know uh, then you have a system in place which will match customers need with the right driver so whosoever is in that location and whosoever is nearest and uh, uh, and whosoever is free and then it will allot the taxi to the customer so this is also a streaming application here customer request are coming in as a stream you are taking action by matching that customer request with the required driver and then then you are assigning them a uh, taxi so these were three use cases that i had for uh, uh, stream processing i hope it is clear now in next video we are going to cover how to set up environment if you are trying to practice spark streaming or if you are trying to learn spark streaming i hope you like this video uh, please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends thank you